It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Spontaneous abortion and pregnancy loss in dogs. There are several methods to perform a safe abortion in a dog, as well as cases in which the pregnancy could be aborted spontaneously. It is important to note that dogs can suffer miscarriages and pregnancy losses for a variety of medical reasons. If a dog owner is considering aborting an unwanted pregnancy, it is recommended that they seek professional medical advice and assistance so that a full assessment of risks and side effects can be performed. In the event that the pregnancy is lost or spontaneously aborted, your pet should be evaluated and monitored, as there are several possible medical conditions that could be the cause. The condition or disease that we will talk about in this video can affect both dogs and cats. 1. Symptoms and Types If your dog has suffered a miscarriage, the most common thing you may notice is abnormal vaginal bleeding, in some cases an expelled fetus may be found, generally, the condition may affect one or all of the puppies in a litter. The most common cause of miscarriage is stillbirth due to hormonal imbalance. In the case of a planned abortion, bleeding is the most common symptom after the procedure. You will need to monitor your dog closely so you can respond quickly to any side effects or health-related problems. 2. Causes of Spontaneous Abortion Some more common types of causes of miscarriages in dogs are The B. acanus bacteria, this bacteria is widespread among kennel dogs, as it can be easily transmitted. This disease causes both fetal deaths and conception failures. It is usually characterized by prolonged vaginal discharge and can sometimes be accompanied by complications such as arthritis, spondylitis, and inflammation of the eye, uveitis. Additionally, it is common for female dogs to have bacteria in their bloodstream, bacteremia, for up to 18 months after miscarriage. Fungal abortion, this fungus commonly causes excessive bleeding in the uterus and can lead to an aborted fetus. Fetal death, if the dog has a hormonal imbalance it can cause the death of the fetus, either causing a stillbirth or a spontaneous abortion. Neospora caninum parasite, this is a parasite that is usually found in dogs. It can be transmitted if the dog ingests contaminated water, food, feces, or meat from infected animals. 3. Diagnosis. Standard blood tests can be used to detect the presence of parasites or the B. canis bacteria. If the pregnancy loss is due to another reason, an abnormal amount of discharge will be noted. A veterinarian can use an ultrasound to detect a viable pregnancy or look for anything left in the dog's uterus after a miscarriage or abortion. This is because sometimes the dog's uterus will not be able to effectively expel all of the pregnancy matter on its own, e.g. placental tissue, leading to infection or internal bleeding. 4. Treatment for Spontaneous Abortion for dogs that have experienced a miscarriage due to bacteria or a parasite, a veterinarian will diagnose the condition and offer a variety of medical treatment options. Additionally, the dog should be carefully monitored for signs of a more serious medical condition. After a miscarriage, there may be a lot of discomfort and or some vaginal bleeding or abnormal discharge. There are many cases where some long-term bacterial problems arise. Pet owners should carefully observe their dog's behavior to ensure that no serious problems develop as a result. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.